Hello everyone, David here, Mixbus TV. Hope you're having a great day. Quick update video on the dangerous mastering converter, the 80 plus that I have. If you follow the channel and you saw the previous videos, this unit has a small issue on the power up. Uh, sometimes when you are going to power the unit up, it just froze in a low light state and you had to power cycle it to actually properly start the unit. This was not a problem with this specific unit as I had two. This is my second and even the second had the same uh, issue. Fortunately though, Dangerous contacted me a couple of days ago telling me that they finally found a solution. Uh, the solution is in this box. So they sent this to me is a part that you basically bolt on. Let's open it. And is this part that you have to install inside the unit and it's super easy. They were actually uh, nice enough to send me a video that shows how to do it. It's really, really simple. You just plug these two things inside the unit, but I just wanted to show you because a lot of people were interested in buying this one and maybe some people uh, were not pulling the trigger because of this problem Well, they finally solved it. I can show you how to do the mod. It's super simple. First of all, we remove the screws and we lift the top. Top off. For those who are curious on what was going on with the unit, this is a mod that Chris Muth made that automatically resets the internal boot up process. What was happening was that on some setups, the power could fluctuate too much. If the power the 80 plus was getting dropped too low for a split second during the boot up sequence, it could cause the 80 plus to get hung up and the internal computer to freeze. That's why power cycling the unit would solve the issue. The new mod just automatically restart the boot up sequence if it detects that it was interrupted. So pretty smart, super easy to install. Well, let me move the camera. All right, to install, simply put the main connector here, this little board, on this connector here on the side that is available. And you see what is in place? This is pre-bent and it aligns with this display cable here, okay? So once you plug that one in, you just take this one out just like this and you plug this one in this socket right there. And this one, of course, goes where the display cable was before doing that. They also put a strip of 3M here. So you will keep this one in place nice and clean. I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna plug this in. Right there. And just simply push this one on the board. So it's nice and clean. Like it came out from the factory like this, all right? Make sure you don't pull any of the other cables when you do this mod. That's it, pretty simple. Now, top back on and we'll see if it boots normally. All right, let's put it in the rack. Let's connect the back panel. All right, cables are connected, so I'm gonna power it up and see if it boots correctly. And it does, there we go. So you saw at first the low uh, light state. That is the state where the unit used to get stuck if the problem presented itself, which wasn't all the time. But uh, as you can see now, I will tell you in the future, but of course, if they made the mode, I'm pretty sure uh, that is not gonna happen anymore. So good news for all the 80 plus owners. And for me, cause like I said, I like the unit. I'm happy they fixed the problem. Thank you Dangerous Music for sending the mod. And I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was useful for you. If you have questions, leave it in the comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe. Hands on my neck, hands grip my throat, throat. Lift me up, up man.